Assalamu alaikum to everyone. I am Mrs. C. Nilofar, Assistant Professor, PT Department of Commerce, Jamal Mahmud College. So today we are going to discuss about the cash management under the discipline of financial management. First of all, we have to look the meaning for cash. Cash plays an important role in economic life of the business and it is the most liquid of all other assets. Cash includes coins, currency notes, checks, drafts, cash at bank and so many things. Sometimes near cash items like marketable securities, bank fixed deposits, money at call and short notes are also included in cash. In this slide, we are going to discuss about the motives of holding cash. There are three possible motives of holding cash. The first one is transaction motive, second one is precautionary motive and third one is speculative motive. While we are seeing about the transaction motive, this is the basic objective of holding the cash in order to meet some routine business payments because the firms needs the cash to make a payments for purchases like raw materials, wages, salaries and other operating expenses even for paying the dividends also. The need to hold the cash would not rise if there were perfect harmony between the cash assets and cash payments. Sometimes the cash outflow may exceed the cash inflow. So, in order to meet the business obligations in such a situations, it is necessary to maintain adequate cash balance. The next motive will be precautionary thing. Because a firm is required to keep some cash to meet unexpected contingencies like strikes, floods, fire accidents. Even plant breakdown is also possible. And sometimes uh, economic causes like the increase in price of the materials, unexpected slowdown like that may cause us a precautionary in all the things. So in such a contingencies, business must have a cash uh, for a precautionary motive. The cash maintained for such contingencies needs is unpredictable or cash remains idle thing. So, such idle funds should be invested in high liquid or low risk marketable securities which may provide cash as when is necessary. The third thing is speculative motive. The speculative motive relates to some uh, holding of cash for investing in some opportunities because uh, we are always looking some profitable opportunities for investing all our money. And also and when uh, they raise uh, some uh, issue basis. So, such opportunities do not come in the normal course of business. So, speculative motive also is there for holding a cash. The next one is the objectives of cash management. So, the objectives of cash management is, I just explained in this slide, to meet the cash disbursements. Because we are always having cash dis disbursement activities in our business and to keep the cash at the minimum level and to invest the surplus cash in any profitable opportunities. So this slide explains you about the dimensions of cash management. It is also called as aspects of management. There are four important dimensions of cash management are there or we can simplify it as a three one. First one is cash planning. Second one is managing cash inflows and outflows and investing surplus funds. Let's see about what is cash planning. Cash planning is nothing but a simply a forecasting of cash needs. That is we are estimating the cash needs well in advance for a, some period of time. So cash planning enables the firms or the organization to maintain adequate cash balances in hand which uh, will meet the sufficient uh, uh, way, way to pay, pay the bills. The main objective or main purpose of the cash planning is 
to synchronize cash receipts and payments. The next one is managing cash inflows and outflows. So for having a good cash inflows and outflows, we must have a cash budget in our hand. So preparing the cash budget is very, very important for all the companies. So what is cash, cash budget? Cash budget is nothing but is a plan uh, to control the use of the cash. So it, it has a some summary like that. It is a summary statement of firms, expected cash inflows and outflows over a period of time. We can prepare the cash budget for uh, monthly wise or we can prepare the cash budget in the yearly wise. The next one is investing surplus funds. So, so surplus funds is always helps us uh, to create excess balance. So surplus cash is the cash in uh, in which we can uh, give some uh, investments in the outer sources. Let's see the cash budget. So cash budget is a device to plan and control the use of cash. And it is a summary statement of firms expected cash inflows and outflows over a period, projected period. It gives information on the timings and amount of expected cash inflows and outflows. Cash budget is prepared for short period also for a long period. So here is a format of cash budget for short period. So in this we can see the things like opening balance the receipts like uh, cash sales collection from debtors call from money sale of capital assets and other receipts so in payments we can ha have the cash purchases payment to creditors wages and salaries interest payable capital expenditure loans repaid taxes and dividends suppose if you are preparing a cash budget for long period of time we can have this format I just uh, differentiated the long period budget and short period budget cash budget so here's a format so first we are starting with the opening balance of the cash so you're just adding the budget and net profit along with the eight items like provisions and reserves, depreciation, amortization of goodwill and preliminary expenses, accrued expenses, decrease in current assets, increase in current liabilities, issue of shares and debentures, receipts from the sale of fixed assets or investments. So you have to add with the opening balance. The next step is subtracting the payments. They like redemption of capital, repayment of loan, purchase of fixed assets and investments, increase in current assets, decrease in current liabilities, payment of dividends, prepaid payments. So if you have subtract the from A to B, so you can get the estimated closing balance of cash. So in this uh, cash management, we have uh, models. So that models, the first model is cash management model is developed by William J. Baumel. So uh, William J. Baumel pro proposed a model similar to EOQ that is economic order quantity for cash management. So the model helps in determining the cash conversion size which means how much cash should be arranged by selling marketable securities in each transaction. And also this model assumes that cash can be arranged through selling marketable securities which the firms hold in the time of needs. So there are two types of costs involved in the holding of cash. Opportunity cost and transaction cost which is also known as conversion cost. And the purpose of this model is to minimize the total cost of cash holding which is summation of the opportunity cost and transaction cost. So this one is a model which is developed by the William J. Baumel. So the, the Baumel model is based upon the following assumptions. Uh, the cash needs of the firm are known with certainty and the cash disbursements of the firm occurs uniformly over a period of time and is known with certainty. 
the opportunity cost of holding cash is known and it remains constant and the transaction cost of the converting securities into cash is known as and remains constant so the baumol model can also be represented by algebraically algebra formula is there so c is nothing but uh, finding finding the optimum balance so we can use the annual cash disbursements fixed cost per transaction and opportunity cost of holding cash for finalizing the optimal cash balance another model is miller and or model because baumol model is based on the basic assumption that the size and timing of the cash flows are known with certainty so this usually does not happen in practice so the cash inflow because the cash inflows of the firm are neither uniform nor a certain the miller and or model overcomes the shortcomings of baumol model so this one is a miller and or model and also algebra presentation is also is there so in this case um the miller and or model overcomes some shortcomings of the baumol model so it is a substitute for the firms which have uncertain cash inflows and cash outflows so those are firms having ca uncertain cash inflows and outflows can use this model so as per the, uh, according to this model two control limits are set for cash balances these limits consist an upper control limit that is h and lower control limit that is o and the return point is it so when the cash balance touches the upper limit the marketable securities are purchased to the extent of h is it and the cash balance comes down to the normal level of is it when the cash balance reaches the lower control limit the firm will sell all the marketable securities to the extent of o is it and the cash balance goes up to the normal of is it the spread between the upper and lower cash balance limit is called is it and this can be calculated by using this formula i hope you have understand all the things thank you so much